In the previous video, we delved into the intriguing concept of potential energy, focusing particularly on elastic potential energy. We discovered how energy is stored in objects that are stretched, compressed, or deformed in some way, and how it is unleashed when they return to their original shape. Now we turn our attention to another type of potential energy, known as chemical potential energy. What is chemical potential energy? Chemical potential energy is the energy stored in the bonds between atoms and molecules. When these bonds are broken during a chemical reaction, this stored energy is released and can be put to use. The world around us is filled with many examples of chemical potential energy, and one of the most common is food. The chemical potential energy in food starts with our green friends, the plants. You see, plants have a superpower. They use the energy from the sun to convert water and carbon dioxide to make their own food in the form of sugar. This amazing process is called photosynthesis. This sugar is stored chemical potential energy, a sort of plant power that they can use later. Chemical reactions within the plant release the chemical potential energy which the plant uses to grow and carry out life processes. But the energy story doesn't stop there. The chemical potential energy in plants then gets passed on to whoever eats the plant. When animals, like a rabbit munching on a carrot or a cow grazing on grass, eat plants, they take in the plant's stored energy. As they digest the plant, they break down the sugar and release the energy it stores. This energy is then used by the animal to grow, move, and live. The same happens when we humans eat. Whether we munch on an apple, eating a plant directly, or have a piece of chicken, eating an animal that ate plants, we're tapping into that stored energy. When we digest the food, we unlock the chemical potential energy within, giving us the energy to grow, think, run, and play. Batteries, whether they're in toys, remote controls, or electric vehicles, are another example of chemical potential energy. A battery contains chemicals which, when connected in a circuit, undergo reactions that transform their chemical potential energy into electrical energy, powering our devices. The devices convert the electrical energy into other forms of energy when they move, light up, or make sound. Fuels like gasoline, diesel, and natural gas are packed with chemical potential energy. When these fuels are burned in an engine, stove, or furnace, the chemical potential energy within the bonds of the fuel is released. This energy is then converted into other forms, such as light, heat, and kinetic energy. Fuels such as coal and natural gas are also used by power stations that burn the fuels to power generators to produce electricity. As we explore the fascinating world of chemical potential energy, it becomes evident that this type of potential energy plays an indispensable role in our daily lives, powering everything from our bodies, home appliances, and our vehicles.